Welcome back to Good Morning Jacksonville. We are pleased to have a guest. Kurt LeJudis joins us from Caddyshack Wildlife Ranch and Sanctuary. And part of the topic we're here is school's about to end for a lot of families here in the First yes. Coast. So summertime activities, parents looking for kids and things Fun to things. do. And we had no better idea than to bring someone out to talk about just the programs that you guys have and the chance to see wild animals just up close. A great opportunity and it, it, just like what you're saying, summer camps are going to be coming up next. Schools are out, we're getting some field trips from schools, but soon that ends and summer camps are right around the corner and I can tell you that our calendar is getting full with camps, reservations, making sure that they have time to bring their kids out. And of course we're open, hey, every day come out and visit us. So if mom and dad are at home and they're watching this right now and they're not part of a summer camp specific, but they want to see some tigers in as close to a natural habitat as you can in Northeast Florida, what can they do when they go to Caddyshack? You know, it, it's a leisure as you like. Things are going on in the world still, you know, so uh, we're open every day from one o'clock to three o'clock. One o'clock is the first admission. Three o'clock is the last entrance giving you an opportunity to walk around and see a bunch of big cats and other animals that we consider honorary cats, but they're not, <laughs> and given a, a chance to maybe learn something, maybe even by accident. Now, I understand a lot of these animals are nocturnal, not too dissimilar from our producer, Matt, who wakes up very early in the morning hours. Get things going. Are there opportunities for nighttime viewings and feedings you know, as well? Uh, of course, the animals are cared for nightly uh, at the sanctuary. Uh, feeding for them normally is at nighttime. But on Friday and Saturdays, we give an opportunity for the visitors to come out at 6 p.m., a little bit earlier than normal that the animals would eat. But none of them really complain about eating a little early. So it gives an opportunity to see what we do the rest of the week. Now, just offset before you joined us here, I, you know, you and I were just talking a little bit about, about the improvements and the expansion going on at, at Caddyshack. What would ticket prices do and you know people coming out really do to help expand what you guys are trying to do? You know, really all our expansions from when we've started the organization has come from visitors. Uh, I wish I could say we have a major sponsor, we have major grants, we don't have any of that. We've been able to grow and it's been with lots of hands helping. Uh, participation is, hey, come and visit the animals. Uh, follow us online, Facebook, Instagram, uh, share what we do and maybe a participant to uh, helping us even more. Now, it, a lot of people were exposed to big cats in sanctuaries by watching the Netflix documentary, Tiger King. How different is Caddyshack from the sensationalized version we saw with the world of Joe Exotic? You know, um, unfortunately things happen in the world, it's the American way, right? Mm -hmm. That uh, these things are, are in existence. But uh, Dozer, one of the first tigers that you meet, actually in November of uh, 2019, National Geographic Centerfold Tiger. No kidding. Next 35 pages were about Tiger King. <laughs> but we were the first thing that was up and they showed our tiger their caption was they're in Jacksonville they say they don't breed and of course that's it that's our policy we've done of course you know uh, animals uh, and of course people uh, all these things have to coexist and unfortunately the wild is getting thinned out mm -hmm. more subdivisions more highways so really you know everybody has to kind of do their part but we're doing a part and of course Lots of folks, volunteers, employees, all help make it a reality. The visitors are what help maintain and keep us going and be giving us the opportunity to grow and benefit the animals that we care for. What is your favorite part about the animals and how special is it to be able to provide this experience to the people of Jacksonville? I tell you what, uh, and I don't say that I'm a, a people watcher, but I love to see expressions of folks coming out and enjoying the animals, coming out with a smile and uh, having good family time uh, inexpensively. Well, wonderful. Kurt LeJudis, thank you so much for joining us here on Good Morning Jacksonville. Thank you for having us. And Absolutely. I hope to see you out. Oh, certainly. And we'll have more information on Caddyshack in this story on our website. Appreciate you.